Hello everyone, this episode is titled Mandatory Seatbelt in the Car. Uh, this is a personal favorite abuse when it comes to laws which lack any logic and utility. Uh, there is so much to discuss about this law, so I sincerely don't know where to begin talking about it. But let's start with analyzing what should be the purpose of a law. Let's try to picture for a moment what should be the purpose of something which is called law. So, is the purpose of a law to impose restrictions on yourself so that you can be sef kept safe from any possible injury? Think about that for a moment. Well, in my opinion, I, I don't think so because of so many reasons which I will describe next. First, protecting yourself or not should be your own choice and it shouldn't be enforced with a law because you are the master of your own life and not anybody else who is the master of your life. This should be available ever since becoming an adult. You are the master of your own life, okay? Not anyone else. Second, there are countless elements around you which are a potential risk for losing your integrity or life. Should laws be erected to impose the absence of any possible hazard within your reach? Well, again, in my opinion, I don't think so, because that would most likely throw you as a person inside a bubble where you will be completely safe but isolated at the same time from everything else. So the existence of a law which imposes you to wear a straitjacket, for example, or live inside a safety bubble all the time in order to keep you from being hurt or hurting yourself is not only stupid but impractical at the same time. Uh, let's describe only a few of the ways which you can employ to damage or kill yourself with objects that surround you, objects or entities around you. For example, you can cut yourself with a sharp object, you can drink bleach or other toxic substances, you can throw yourself outside the window of a tall building, you can drown in a lake or river, you can touch an electrical wire and be electrocuted, you can throw yourself in front of a speeding train or other vehicle, etc. There are so many ways to do damage to yourself. Uh, now, is the purpose of a law to impose restrictions on yourself so that you will not be a hazard to those around you? Well, yes. This should be, in my opinion, the only purpose of a law. Ensuring that freedom and rights of the other citizens which coexist with you will not be affected because of your actions. For example, this situation can be qualified as a law. Driving during the night with your car lights on is something which is mandatory to avoid collisions with other traffic participants, which would otherwise be unable to spot you on the road. So this is a measure that you need to take in order to not produce damage to other traffic participants, okay? You are driving in a specific manner to ensure their protection and the other one's protection. So this is my opinion about the purpose of a law and I suppose and hope that it is correct. What is the legal consequence for not wearing the car seat belt now? Well, in my country the following consequences come uh, for not wearing your car seat belt. So first you have to waste your time to sign paperwork when the police officer stops you. Then you have to pay a handsome fine. Then you have to receive penalty points which bring you closer to have your driving license suspended. Then waste more time and go and pay the fine to pay the fine. Uh, and last but not least this is a very subjective emotion becoming mentally scarred from constantly wondering all this time what the hell did you do wrong for all your trouble okay so as a conclusion not wearing your car seat belt could represent danger only for yourself not for the other traffic participants 
Since there are countless hazards all around you, which are a potential danger, the only decent, decent thing to do is to protect yourself as much as, as much as you choose to. If you choose to be more exposed to the danger of not surviving a car crash by not, by not wearing your seatbelt, it should be your own choice and nobody should enforce this kind of protection for a law. And if anyone else feels the way that I do, please remember this idea and share it to other people so that one day we can demand the suppression of this law's existence. Thanks for watching.